Uh, I'm Keith Fever, president of the Selfridge Base Community Council. Since we heard that Selfridge was in the running for the F-35, we thought it was important to engage the community and to let them know why the F-35 is important to southeastern Michigan uh, and Michigan as a whole. So we worked hard on this announcement, and I'm going to let Mark Ackle explain the next thing. Cool. General Slocum, sorry. Thanks. I'm uh, General Doug Slocum, the commander at Selfridge Air National Guard Base. It's great to be with you today. Uh, it's a great occasion of launching this community action, this website, uh, community engagement to build the partnerships that's going to be necessary for hopefully to be selected for the future home of the F-35. We've got a lot of wonderful community partners that are joining us today that have been part of this effort and certainly led by our, our wonderful county. Uh, that have taken the lead in developing the website and this outreach that uh, you're going to get to visit today. Selfridge is a great place to home house the F-35 in the future. Uh, we have wonderful facilities out at Selfridge that can easily handle the F-35. We have some of the best training airspace and ranges uh, this side of the Mississippi River where we can make sure that we're ready to do the job. But most importantly, we have absolutely fantastic citizen airmen uh, that are part of your hometown Air Force here at Selfridge that have proven themselves through the years to be absolutely the best. Uh, so we're campaigning now to try and get the F-35 in here to secure Selfridge's future for the next few decades. Uh, fantastic work, and once again, I'd like to now hand it over to the county, to Mr. Mark Hackle, to come in and talk to a little bit more about this initiative and this community outreach, and to thank you for the outstanding partnership that we have with the community at Selfridge Air National Guard Base. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, all too often we talk about base uh, realignments and closures, the BRAC studies that everybody kind of hears about from time to time. Media has reported on it, you know, the concern about the future of Selfridge and, uh, and other bases, uh, you know, not just, uh, not just Selfridge, but others throughout the entire state and uh, throughout the country. So the question becomes, you know, what gives us that competitive edge? What gives us an advantage to, uh, I guess, to, to hold off or fend off being one of those bases that are cut? And people sometimes say, well, what if it wasn't there? What would we do? Well, I tend to look at it as it would be somewhat of a wasteland, and I say that for this reason. People get this impression that, okay, now you get this you know, property back and you do something else with it. That's not the reality. Um, it becomes uh, somewhat of a, a government property that sits there for years uh, after with nothing of real value happening. So we realize the most important thing that we have here in our own backyard is Selfridge Air National Guard Base. It's, uh, they're celebrating their 100th anniversary, anniversary this year uh, with uh, many events that we're going to be part of, and it's going to be pretty exciting. And if you think about the history of Selfridge and what has been out at that particular facility over the years, it's incredible. It's amazing, and you're going to hear more about that uh, as this ceremony goes on throughout the year. But the reason we're here today is, as General had mentioned, we have a chance right now to solidify this base and its existence for the next generation to come. You're talking about the next 30 years, we will not be talking about base realignments or closure. The importance of this facility to, I guess, our national defense, but even our own economic opportunities here in Macomb County, is incredible. There is so much to be said about that that I can't say it in a very short period of time, but let me just sum it up this way. We will not have to, if those F-35s come here, and we are one of the bases that are selected for the two sites that they're looking for, if it is selected for the next 30 years, we will not have to talk about base realignment or closures out here at Selfridge. That in and of itself should be important for people in and around the community and around the state of Michigan to say, you know what, we need to get behind this effort to get people to realize here in Michigan, we want that F-35 fighter here at Selfridge Air National Guard Base. It's one of five bases that are up for being selected as a site. There are only two sites that's going to be selected. And as a general can lay out, and he will explain the strategic importance of this area and why it would be a proper fit is an incredible story to tell. And in fact, there is no other base or no other area that could be as competitive if they went truly based upon the reality of the mission and what it can do in and around this area. So he could speak to that. I'm looking at it from the economic perspective to say, you know what, there are other areas that aren't as forceful advocates to try to get this base and try to get that F-35 fighter. We want to engage the community. We want people in and around this area and throughout the entire state to say, you know what, we want that F-35 fighter right here in our own backyard. We are, obviously, the, uh, the other uh, fighters that we've had out here, the F-16, uh, some people worry about sometimes the sound of the noise. Well, i got to tell you, that was a terrible noise to what we're seeing right here. So the noise isn't a factor. 
If it's not the F-35, it'll probably be the F-16, and that's just as, I guess, if you will, loud or noisy. But there are things they can do to kind of minimize that. The reality is, this is an incredible opportunity for us. So with that being said, we were challenged, the county was, on behalf of the state to say, you know what, can we be one of those forceful advocates to get out there and help market this so the people within and around this area understand the importance? And uh, we stepped up to the challenge. The Comb Regional Chamber, Gray Shore, they stepped in early on immediately and started with a website that gave us an opportunity to transfer into what we're seeing here today. The advocacy from the base council in and around this area for the base has been an incredible uh, importance to what we see out at Southbridge. So all of the people that are coming together already, now we're saying, you know what, we want to get this out publicly because we want everybody in southeast Michigan and the state of Michigan to get on board to try to help us solidify that base for the next generation to come. I got to even credit uh, General Vadenay as well as uh, our governor. Uh, they're forceful advocates, obviously, for what's going on with the Guard and Selfridge and the other bases throughout the state. They stepped up to the plate early on and were able to come up with funding to help us hire an organization called the Roosevelt Group. This Roosevelt Group, these people know the insides and outsides of what's going on politically in Washington. We are very confident with what they're able to do to try to get the decision makers to understand the importance of this base to help make that a reality. We're very confident we're going to work with them to understand the importance of Selfridge, this region, and why it would be a good one for those that are coming here to actually fly those, those planes. This is a great place to make home here in Macomb. So knowing that that's taking place, we are now commissioned with our responsibility to get people to realize how important it is for the people of the state of Michigan to have that F-35 right here in our own backyard. So. One of the first things we did was created this website, and uh, we had to reach out to an organization, a local company, a Macomb County company, Hunch Free, and uh, Jimmy's just voila, he's the guy that actually uh, owns his company. And within a very short period of time, working with Grace's people over at the chamber, working with the base council, and obviously uh, General Slocum, who is on the opening video of this, and if you take the time to watch that video, he lays out the actual foundation as to why it's important strategically to have this F-35 here. So, it was an incredible amount of work that was done in a very short period of time, but I'm going to let them talk a little bit about the basics of this website, the importance of it, how you can connect as the public to help us support this F-35 mission here at Southbridge Air Base. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Guzwala from Hunt Free. Jimmy? Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Uh, we're very excited and very honored for the opportunity to work on this campaign. Uh, we try to keep this very simple and very basic. Um, and go over all the, the high-level points about this campaign. Uh, we try to use video as the main talking point, so I'm not sure if the campaign will go through this, but it's, it's very interactive, it's very scalable, and uh, we think you guys are going to love the idea of being able to go there, interact, and, and see this message, and, and send your thoughts uh, about this campaign so we can respond to that with the general we do. Good. Thank you. Hi, we're going to open it up for questions that you may have. Um, I got to imagine uh, you probably have some, uh, unless I covered it, which would be even better. So, any questions about the F-35, about the mission, about the website? Who will make this decision, and who are you trying to reach in this video and this campaign? Well, the decision on the basing will be made through the Department of the Defense. The Secretary of the Air Force ultimately will be making that decision. Uh, what we're trying to reach with this video or with this website is our local community. We want to educate everybody on what's an F-35, why is it important to Michigan, what's the, the history with Selfridge, why is this the right choice for the F-35 for our country and for the state. So it's an outreach and it's an educational effort primarily aimed at the local community. How can people in the community then help make those decisions? Like if they watch the video, then That's a great point. The question isn't so much that are they going to be able to help make the decision. I, I truly believe this Roosevelt group that we have uh, kind of uh, employed or hired is going to be helpful in getting to those that are the key decision makers in Washington to make this a reality. Um, I am extremely confident that they have the abilities and capabilities of doing it. To your question is, why locally? Why are we trying to get people's attention? Because as we sometimes recognize, as time goes on and people start talking about something, if you're not upfront, you're not very transparent, talking about what might be coming here, sometimes misinformation gets out. And what we're trying to do is clear up any potential or concern that people might have in and around this, because you always get the not in my backyard type of mentality from certain personalities. This base has been here for 100 years. It's incredible what it does not only to defend our country, but the economic impact it has on Southeast Michigan. 
and in particular Macomb County. So we want people, if there are going to be any concerns about misinformation, the closer you are to what I call sometimes the epicenter of that actual site, uh, the more concerns people may have about it. So as time goes on, other people that maybe don't live in those areas start hearing some things that are inappropriately stated, or I guess if you will, just not factual, then people start to I guess, get that concern as to should we really have it here or should we not. So our job is to try to figure out how do we get ahead of that and get people to realize, you know what, the significance and the importance of this outweighs any concern that somebody might have as a disadvantage. And many of those disadvantages, I think, are just basically not based on true facts or understanding as to what might be coming here. So to your point, our job is to make sure people locally understand the true importance of that decision if and when it is made. Well, two features that are in this website also is one is that you can provide us your contact information. What we're going to do is make sure that we keep our community up to date on what's going on. So as we learn things, we're going to share it with the community. You're going to know what we know when we know it uh, so that we can be open about this process and what's happening. And the other is if there's any questions, there's a way you can submit questions. Uh, if you want to know something, you submit the questions, we'll get an answer back to you right away. So it opens that communication channel between us and the community so that this is a very open process as we go. And, and we're confident, because I've already talked to uh, Debbie Stabenoff, uh, Gary Peters, that, that they truly understand the importance of this, significance of this, and they're going to be forceful advocates in Washington to try to make this a reality. I am confident of that. Uh, our congressional delegate, delegation is very parochial about it. They always have been. And again, even based back when uh, Candace Miller was, uh, was part of the Congress, she was an extremely forceful advocate for Macomb County, and in particular dealing with that base. So, um, we are confident uh, we're going to have a good hearing uh, up in Washington, and i got to tell you, if that decision for some reason uh, uh, is, is handed out and suffrage doesn't get it, it had to be some other political factor that came into play because I don't believe it was, uh, had anything to do with logistics uh, or the competency or the ability of that base because they have every mark that you can, uh, I guess, check off uh, on a box. This is the base that should deserve that F-35 uh, fighter, and I, I, I know um, that, uh, that we're getting that. Uh, hearing up in Washington. So, question start. When it's secure, what is the estimated right increase in economic impact to this? But I don't think we've been able to estimate that yet in terms of we don't know what the change would necessarily be in terms of the number of employees, uh, how much is going to be contracted locally. Uh, it's definitely going to be good uh, one way or the other, but uh, as far as I know, there was no real way yet to measure it. We're looking at basing these here in the 22-23 uh, time frame. So there's going to be a lot of pre uh, preparation that goes in from the time that there's a selection announced until the time that the first F-35s show up. And, and to, to that question, if I may add, when they are looking at this base, it's not just the strategic capabilities, which is a huge component of the decision, but it's also about the area. In other words, what does it offer for those that are going to be, I guess, uh, here actually flying those machines and those that are the backup to deal with those uh, as they're on the ground? So there's a support group that comes along with it. What do they have here as far as features, the educational component for schools, for their kids, for themselves? Uh, what about job opportunities for the other spouse in the house? Uh, what about, uh, I guess if you will, housing uh, costs associated with it? So we're trying to figure out how do we come together, and we've been working it with our planning department, JP and his staff, to get people to understand that, you know what, when you come here, you bring that F-35, when it comes here, uh, you're going to feel comfortable making Macomb your home uh, and, and actually living in and around this area. So our job is to tell the story about this region and uh, the impact it will have on people that come here uh, and their families and, and try to tell a great story. How does the suffrage base community council fit into the overall project? I, I, I think it's pretty simple. When you talk about base council, they're the ones that are probably the most forceful advocates when it comes to uh, community. Uh, these aren't people that uh, you know just sit around suffrage and watch what's going on. These are people from all walks of life in and around the area that have a true passion for that flying mission that's been happening over there. This is our hometown Air Force. I mean, we need to be more excited about what we have here and have had for the last hundred years. I, I think all too often, sometimes we take it we take it for granted what is right in front of us. You know, I often talk about our, our incredible resource we have here with Lake St. Clair. I mean, you mentioned how many other countries would love to have this freshwater advantage that we have a 31 and a half mile coastline. <laughs> Selfridge is right on that coastline. And Selfridge is an incredible asset. We all talk about the military, and we all get proud every time we go to a sporting event, and they bring out one of the actual military personnel, and they say, when they put them up on a big screen, we all stand up and we cheer and we clap. We have that right in our own backyard, this, this mission that has won many awards right here in Macomb County. We need to be proud of what they've been able to do, and that celebration for 100 years is exciting, but I'm going to tell you, all that work is going to lead up to this potential and this great opportunity to get that F-35 right here in our own backyard. Bob? Do 
you know when a decision is going to be made? And right now it's scheduled for this summer, uh, but the site surveys that were going to happen have all slipped a little bit, so I'm thinking it'll be summer or fall is what they're saying right now, but as you're aware, uh, kind of a dynamic environment back east right now. So that's the latest information that we have, but that's part of what we'll let people know is when the decision is to be uh, announced. Right now we're scheduled for a site survey in the July time frame, um, and then we'll see from there what happens. <coughs> And if base council, get, uh, back to the question, is is going to be the ones that's going to be very helpful, and if there's any community uh, concerns or questions, groups or organizations that want to better understand what's happening that they can't get from the, the website, by the way, which is uh, MIF35.org, I got it, MIF35.org, MIF35.org, and that's MI. F35.org. If you haven't heard me say it, it's mif35.org. Okay. I'm selling like one of those infomercials, you know, that say it about a thousand times. So 1 800 call, you know. So, see what I mean? It works. So. How much does this campaign cost and who's, how is it being funded? The actual campaign, as far as the cost associated with uh, the, uh, the Roosevelt Group, I don't know the cost associated with that, but I know the governor was so committed to making sure that this becomes a reality that he himself had committed the dollars to hire that organization. Uh, the funding that we have worked with as far as our planning department and the protecting growth strategy that we have here in Macomb County about our defense industry is helping to fund the actual website itself and get the word out. We're going to be taking this, uh, I, I always have fun during the Mackinac Policy Conference. Um, I did that first as a county executive to kind of, you know, have a little fun with Brooks Patterson, uh, the Make Macomb Your Home of uh, posters and I guess, if you will, billboards that we put on the way up to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to Mackinac uh, just to kind of get attention drawn back here to Macomb County. You get people to ask questions. What was that about? What are you doing? Well, we've come to learn that year after year, we come up with something. It's not a gimmick. It's about Macomb County and trying to get people to realize the importance of what's happening in this county that, that adds advantage to the region and to the state of Michigan. Well, we've done it about the fence, and now we are going to go up there, and I'm working with the, the general to be a part of that Mackinac Policy Conference uh, to get people to realize throughout the state, this isn't just a Macomb County thing. This is a tremendous advantage to the region and to the state of Michigan. Otherwise, you wouldn't have the commitment on behalf of the governor, as well as, obviously, Selbridge and ourselves, in going up to Mackinac, talking to all the other key policymakers in the state of Michigan to tell them, you know what? This is what we're working on here in Macomb County, and you need to be a part of this uh, because this is going to be a tremendous advantage throughout the entire state. So our job when we go out to, and, and sell Macomb County is to also sell the importance of the region and the state of Michigan. That was appropriately ended. I like that. I like that music there. Turn it up a little. All right. If there are no other questions, uh, we'd like to thank you. And if there's uh, any individual interviews you need with the general, please uh, don't be shy to uh, call upon him. Let's go eat. Thank you.